Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. We just want to welcome you into the house of the Lord today. For those of you, thank you for participating and joining in on our 11 o'clock service. Thank you for joining in with us today. Just please go ahead and lift your hands and close your eyes and worship with us this morning because this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made.
Praise the Lord, everybody. We certainly do give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and his mercy endureth forever. Come on and give the Lord a praise. If you're glad to be in the house of the Lord, come on and give him a praise. The Bible says, into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. David said, oh, magnify, oh, magnify, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I want to welcome you, amen, to each and every one of you in Christian Ministries of the Apostolic Faith Church. And we certainly do uh, praise God. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. This is our second service. We're going to our two-tier platform. Uh, we had morning glory uh, just a, an hour or so ago. We thank God for all of those that came to that particular service. Thank you, Lord. And this is our second service and we're going to go before the Lord and before we go before him um, we just want to uh, honor our lovely wife Lady Tracy Quinn we thank God for her and we thank God for our leadership that are here in this household today Amen. thank you Lord and we certainly do I thank God for one of my good friends Randall Coleman Amen. Amen. <laughs> What'd you say, brother? Oh, oh, he said he's not. <laughs> I mean, amen. And we certainly do thank God for each and every one of you. So we want to uh, go before the Lord in prayer. Uh, if you have a particular prayer request, amen. Those of you that are here today, if you have a particular prayer request, you can stand out and let it be known. I'm going to try to make our service as normal as possible. Thank you, Lord. Amen. All right. Well, I certainly do want to pray for our city, pray for our country, uh, and pray for our justice system and all of the systems, and men and women and children everywhere, uh, that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily, such as should be saved. I know there's a lot of rioting and root and rooty going on uh, in our country today. You know, I understand it. I don't condone it, but I do understand it. Amen. People are, are fed up and they won't change. Uh, so let us pray for change. Let us pray that people uh, remain safe in the name of Jesus. And let us pray for those uh, that have suffered loss and those that may be sick with the viruses and all this other kind of stuff. And let us pray for the success of our service on today. Amen? Amen. 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 Let the church stand. Pray for our praise and worship team and the band. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly do thank you, Lord, for your grace, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We thank you for being our helper, for being our strength, for being our guide. We thank you, Lord, for this is the day that you have made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, Lord, for the manifestation of your power, the manifestation of your anointing. And Lord, we pray, Lord, that you bless each and every soul under the sound of my voice. We pray, Lord, that you strengthen us with all might, with all spiritual instinct and strength in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that you heal our bodies, heal our minds and our spirit and our soul. Bless this great country, Lord. Strengthen those, Lord, that are weak. And Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you give grace and strength to those that are making a difference. And Father, we thank you and bless our service on today. Grant the door of us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on and give the Lord a praise as you remain standing. This is Pentecost Sunday. Amen. The day in which the church was born, the birth of the church of Jesus Christ. Jesus set himself upon this rock as our man comes to read our lesson. Thank you, Lord, our, our scripture reading, Deacon uh, Stephen Kennedy. Jesus said, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Praise the Lord. I'll be reading from Psalm 121. Oh, from the Lord. Verse 1. I will lift up my eyes 
unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in. And from this time forth and even more evermore. So look to the hills with come with your help. And always know that the Lord is with you at all times, every day, every second of every hour. I, I bless this uh, word in the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. It's praise and worship time. I'm in the sanctuary. Anybody love the Lord today? Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, tell them that you love them today. Hallelujah. We love you.
God, we were worth saving. Hallelujah, we worship you in the sanctuary. Hallelujah, we give you our all because you gave us your all. We give it all to you. You deserve it, of it. Hallelujah. We'll praise you. We'll worship you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you thought I was worth saving. So you came and changed my life.
Amen. Amen. Uh, it's nothing like uh, in order for things to change sometimes, there's got to be a struggle. And there's got to be a will to overcome the struggle for things to come out right on the other side. So we do certainly do thank God that he does things right. And I won't uh, be before you long on today, but uh, we do have a word from the Lord. And I'm so excited. I'm excited. I guess I get excited every time uh, we do have service and the church doors are open. Amen. And how the Lord keeps on moving. The Lord keeps on making a way. And as I said uh, earlier, just to put, put it in the parts of the people, we are going to a two-tier type service platform. Our first service begins at uh, 9 a.m. Uh, to 10.30 a.m. And this particular service starts uh, at 11 a.m. So we do say God, and um, uh, it's, it's blessing time. Uh, so if anyone has an offering, uh, just raise it up, and uh, the uh, usher in the back shall come uh, to your seat. But we certainly do praise God. Uh, I do, uh, and magnify Him, uh, for this is uh, the day of Pentecost. It's actually the birth of the church. Uh, Pentecost means 50. This is Pentecost Sunday. I thought about wearing all my regalia. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's a hot day. Thank you, Jesus. It's a, a solemn day, a holy convocation unto the Lord. Men have conventions uh, when they want to gather together. When God wants to gather his people together, he has a holy convocation where he will speak to his people. And uh, Pentecost, uh, that particular word was started in the book of Acts starting with Jesus uh, outpouring of his spirit and that's the birth of the church uh, but the Pentecost literally means 50 50 days after uh, the Passover and it commemorates also the giving of the law uh, when God had gave Moses the law on Mount Sinai uh, 50 days after they had came out of Egypt. Uh, so that literally became the birth of a nation. When, when the Lord brought them out of Egypt and gave them his commands, they literally then became a nation and God became their king. So uh, the Holy Ghost Church or the Church of Jesus Christ, we literally became a nation after the Lord had given us commands in the book of St. John chapter 14, you know, 14, 15, 16, and 17, Jesus gave his disciples commands. And in those commands, he commanded us to love one another. Uh, he commanded us to uh, serve one another. He commanded us uh, to treat each other with love and respect. And then he uh, incorporated his people and told them that he was going to go away and then Jesus said I'm going to send you another comforter so that brings us then to the book of Acts if you can go with me uh, to the book of Acts chapter number 2 Acts chapter number 2 and uh, I just want to begin reading at verse number one, and it said this, uh, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. If we can all stand for the reading of the word. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it fell upon all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like a sun to fire. And it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit of God gave them utterance. 
And then I uh, just want you to drop down to verse 14. He says, And Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be it known unto you, and hearken to my words. From, for these are not drunken as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken of by the prophet Joel. And gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly do thank you for this word on today. We thank you for the anointing that you have given unto us. And we ask you to bless these thy great people in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. And I just want to just talk to you just for a brief moment out of that particular scripture that Peter identified from verse 16. Acts 2 and 16, um, but this is that which is spoken of by the prophet Joel. I want to take for a thought, this is that. This is that. I had said that I was going to preach the same message <laughs> twice, but that's hard for me to do. And I'm listening to the Lord. The Lord wants me to change it up. Amen. So our subject today is this is that. As we have already stated uh, earlier that this is Pentecost Sunday, a day of celebration. And it relates to the beginning of the church. People ought to put a lot more emphasis on today and celebrate it as they do Christmas or Easter because it really uh, commemorates the birth of the church of the living God. It is another step in a move that uh, comes into play in the plan of God. God had a plan when he made the world and everything in it. And in his plan, he had promised that he was going to build a church. Jesus said to his disciples, who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am. And some said that thou art one of the prophets, and some said thou art Moses and Elisha. But Jesus said that who do you say that I am? And you all know the story that Peter stood up in the midst of them and said that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus told him, Blessed art thou Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not Reveal this unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. Uh, and he said that upon this rock, I'm going to build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And from that hour and from that moment on, Jesus uh, literally begins to build his church. And his church that he was building and those that he were going to use was his disciples. Jesus was not going to build a church out of brick and mortar, but Jesus was going to build a church from within, from using the people of God to build the church of the living God. Peter was talking about him being the Christ, the one whom God had anointed, anointed to be king, priest, and prophet. A one whom God had down through the ages that Moses even spoke about and said that God was going to raise up a prophet like unto you and I, him shall ye hear. And Jesus is that prophet whom God had raised and whom God had put his anointing and his spirit upon to so do his most perfect will upon this earth. So Jesus set about, he set about doing good. Jesus set about laying hands on the sick so that people could recover. Jesus went about standing up for the word of God, standing up for the meek and the lowly. Jesus went about teaching and preaching in the synagogues and throughout the land, proving that God wanted to build a church. 
Jesus went about preaching the gospel, the gospel, the good news, saying, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Uh, and when it came time for Jesus to go, when it came time for Jesus to die, he didn't really want to die. The Bible said that he prayed and sweat ran down his face like great drops of blood. But he said, Father, uh, not my will, but thy will be done. Oftentimes when we're facing critical situations, we need to pray to the Father. When we're facing critical times, we need also to fall down our faith and cry out to the Lord uh, and say, Father, not my will, but thy will be done. How many of you know that God knows best? God knows what we need. And sometimes our own will comes in conflict with the will of God, but we've got to humble ourselves. The Bible says that if my people that were called by my name, if they would simply humble themselves and pray and begin to seek my face, uh, I'm here to tell you today, brothers and sisters, we ought to seek the face of God. We ought to call on the name of the Lord. We ought to seek his face. And then when we draw nigh to him, the Bible says that he will draw nigh to us. He will draw closer to us. How many of you want a closer relationship with the Lord? How many of you want the Lord to be in your life? Not just in your life, but the center of your joy. The center of your peace. The center of your happiness. The center of your strength. The center of your blessing. How many of you want the Lord? Hallelujah. If it had not been for the Lord on our side. Oh, uh, where would we be? Uh, where would we be? Where would we be? And I thank God that he's given us an opportunity uh, to be a part of the Holy Church. I thank God that he looked beyond all of our faults and he saw our need. I thank God that he didn't give up on us when we were in the muck in the mire. I thank God that he is a God of a second chance. Hey, glory. He's a God of a second chance. And I thank God for another chance. The Bible says that a righteous man falleth seven times, but he gets back up. Why do you get back up? Because Jesus paid the price. Because Jesus is on your side. Because Jesus went to the cross. He was wounded for your transgressions. He was bruised for your iniquities. And the chastisement of your peace was laid upon him. Why do you get back up? Because Jesus heals you. Because Jesus delivers you. Because Jesus is a way maker. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I thank God that he is the lily of the valley. I thank God that he is the bright and morning star. I thank God that he is our joy. He is our peace. He is our strength. Hey, my God, I feel the anointing in this place. I feel healing in this place. I feel the glory of God. He's in our atmosphere. Why? Because we're lifting him up. And that's what Jesus said. He said, if I be lifted up, that kind of old shot. No, we got to lift him up. He said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Oh, we got to lift him up. Somebody ought to praise him. Somebody ought to give him some glory. Aren't you glad that he brought you out of the wilderness? Aren't you glad that he picked you up? He turned you around. He put your feet on that solid ground. And that's being in the living church. Uh, the gates of hell. Somebody say the gates of hell. Uh, the gates of hell couldn't stop Jesus from coming into your life. The gates of hell couldn't stop Jesus from kicking it in and reaching you beyond your need. Honestly, he reached you beyond your fault. He reached you beyond your circumstance and gave you life. Oh, my brothers and sisters, I'm talking about this is that which was spoken of by the prophet Joel. This is that 
which the Lord has spoke. He said, I'm going to go away to prepare a place for you. Uh, that where I am, uh, there you shall be also. I thank God that there's life beyond the grave. I thank God that Jesus is. He said, I am the resurrection. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And I thank God that we got a life beyond the grave. Oh, my friend, you ought to praise your God. Because Jesus is that sure foundation. He is that solid rock. For the rock which we stand is stronger than that sinking sand. Oh, you ought to give God a praise. You ought to give God a praise. I thank God for that day. That day of Pentecost. When the Spirit of the Lord descended and came upon us and Jesus said to his disciples that you shall be witnesses of me oh my God I thank God that I've been to the water I thank God that I've been baptized I thank God for the spirits of the Holy Ghost so that we can testify not only to ourselves, but we can testify to the people that there is a Savior, that there is a Deliverer, and His name is Jesus. If you put your trust, if you put your trust, if you put your trust in Jesus, not just some things, but everything is going to be alright. Oh, clap your hands. Oh, clap your hands. How many of you know that it's going to be all right? You can go through hell. It's going to be all right. You can go through high water. But it's going to be all right. You can walk through the valley of the shadow of death. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. And it will be. It'll be all right. Oh my God, I feel the Holy Ghost. He's saying that it's going to be better than all right. It's going to be all right, all right. All right, all right. When I think of the goodness of that Kabosh, of Jesus, and all that he has done, your soul ought to cry out, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. So when you're going through your tests, say this is that that is taking me through. When you're going through your trial, say this is that that is taking me through. This is that that is giving me strength. This is that that is giving me power. If it had not been for the Lord, uh, where would we be? Peter said, this is that. Ah, hallelujah. You ought to testify of the witness in yourself and say, this is that. This is that. Hallelujah. When you see me, all kind of pressure on me, and you don't see me acting up, this is that. When I see you, all kind of pressure on you, and you're not cussing and fussing, you say, this is that. Hey, when people are trying to do you dirty, but you turn around and do them good, you can say, this is not. Hey, this is how people should know that the love of God is in you by the love that you show one to another. And this is not. Hallelujah. I'm not going to give that up. <laughs> hey, brother, are you going to give it up? Somebody say no. Somebody say no. He's too good. The Bible say, oh, taste and see. Ah, that the Lord is good. He's good. I said he's good. He's sweeter than honey. I said he's sweeter than honey. I said he's sweeter than honey. He's sweeter than honey. He's sweeter than honey. Sweeter than honey. In the honeycomb. This is not Hallelujah. We're all like shit, all like sh a ship without a sail. But one day, Jesus 
came into our life. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad today that Jesus makes himself accessible? Aren't you glad today that Jesus, hey, he can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities? Aren't you glad today that we got a Savior? Oh, that's higher than any mountain. We got a Savior that runs deeper than in the ocean. We got a Savior that can be touched. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, because he's just a prayer away. And what makes that all possible is the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, this is that that gives us what we need so that we can be strong in the Lord. Amen. Come on and clap your hands and give God a praise. Hallelujah. I'm so glad. Tell your neighbor, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I'm here. I'm so glad I'm here. I'm so glad I'm here in Jesus' name. I'm going to pray while I'm here. I'm going to praise him while I'm here. I'm going to thank him while I'm here. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. My God. My God. My, I feel another sermon coming on. Thank you, Lord, because I want to start talking about that name. Amen. There's power in the name. Isn't there power in the name? There's deliverance in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to ask the church to stand. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let us. Let us get the Lord on our minds huh, and on our heart. My Lord, if there's any trial that you're facing, know that Jesus has paid the price. If there's any situation and any condition that's trying to stand in your way, know that Jesus said, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. My God, and that church is the ecclesia, those that have been called out. So literally what he's saying, I'm going to build you. I'm going to build you up. I'm going to give you strength. I'm going to empower you. Hallelujah. So when you can come in the gates of hell, they shall not stand before you. Uh, he's going to give you power to kick in the gates of hell. He's going to give you the anointing so that you can stand upon that rock. And that rock is Jesus. Hey, my God. Hallelujah. Thank God for strength. Yes, Tell your neighbor, I thank God for strength. I thank God for strength. I thank God for power. I thank God for the anointing. I thank God for having access. And that's why he said, come boldly to the throne of grace. That you might obtain mercy. That you might obtain mercy. That you might obtain mercy. And find grace to help you in your time of need. Hey, we know where our help comes from. We know where our strength comes from. We're not novices to this thing. We know that we can call on the name of the Lord. Hey, what's his name? What's his name? The devils tremble at that name. What's his name? Healing comes in that name. What's his name? Power in the name of Jesus. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this service on today. Lord, we thank you for obedience uh, in our spirit and our soul on today. Lord, you see what we need. Lord, you know what we need. And you promise to supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And now, Lord, we ask you that you shower it out on us. That you shower it out on us. That you shower it out on us. That our worship is not in vain. That our praise is not in vain. Lord, shower it out on us. Lord, you destroy every yoke. That you undo every burden. Shower it out on us. In the name of Jesus. 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 Father, we thank you. Lord, we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. amen and amen. As you remain standing, there is power in the name. Just sing a few verses. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. To break every chain. Just declare it in the atmosphere. 
Just declare it in the atmosphere.